Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we are so happy to have with us writer and director Katia Zuniga. She's here to talk about her great new film, Las Hijas, Sister and Sister, in English for you English viewers out there. Uh, let's uh, say hello to everybody, Katia. Hi, everybody. Yes, that's Damn. right. And and for everybody <laughs> else, if you speak Spanish, at the hola from everybody uh, here. This is a film that takes place in Panama, which is a Central American country, for those of you who do not know. Um, and it's about two sisters on a voyage to meet their father. Is that correct? It's about youth. It's about desires. It's about sisterhood. And yes, it's a very tender film. It does have a great coming of age feel to it. And I wanted to ask you, is do you see yourself a little bit in both characters of Marina and, and, uh, and Luna? Yes, I do. In fact, uh, this is a story based on a personal experience. Uh, my sister and I did have that experience. We went when we were teenagers to Panama with the idea of him since 10 years ago. And so it, the story is inspired in a personal experience. So, of course, I, I see myself and, and also in both characters, in, in Marina and in Luna. I love it. And, I, and what I love was it really did give you a sense of like the summertime adventure between two uh, sisters who I think they get along, but I don't know that they really understand one another. Would you say that that's yes. accurate? That's accurate. I, I mean... That one that was one of the most important things to me to portray this relationship because I think is for me is one of my most important relationships in my life and I haven't seen uh, this relationship uh, portrayed so often in in films so yes they have they bounce they like each other they hate each other they are jealous of each other <laughs> and all that together and also they are teenagers so that kind of feelings are uh, I don't know how to say it like more in the surface you know yeah they don't hide anything because it's, it's all out there because they are young and they don't really understand how to mask how they feel about it right right I wanted to ask you skateboarding plays a prevalent role a little bit in the plot here do you skateboard yourself <laughs> No, well, I tried, but I'm very bad at it. <laughs> totally understand. I wish. <laughs> I've yes. been there, trust but me. I used to... the... <laughs> uh, uh... But one of the 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 younger one of the actresses, uh, she likes very much to to skateboard. And all the, the skateboarders that are in the film, they are professionals and they're like very awesome skateboards they are like very important in Panama so it's it was nice to 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 be on this uh discipline or sport I don't know how to call it this art no, yeah I would say a sport yeah and did you, you <laughs> shot this whole thing in Panama City right yes it, it looks so gorgeous City. It looks so gorgeous. It is but gorgeous. behind your behind your shot selection and uh, Cristo uh, 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 Alejo Cristo Tomo's cinematography, making the whole thing just look like uh, one of the most gorgeous summers you've ever seen. How did you go about picking them to to shoot the film with? Well, um, Alejo and I we're a couple. He's my husband, <laughs> so it was very convenient to me <laughs> to shoot him. <laughs> And and also well, uh, sis, sis, he's also the producer of the film, so I've been he accompanied me uh, all all the all the way, you know. So we from the beginning we went to Panama. We we visit Panama so many times. I love Panama, so I guess uh, that love can be shown in the image, and. And yes, we work a lot, uh, like finding these very special spots and and trying to use also filters and things in camera that make this have the, that feel of summer and and also like a very special atmosphere, and just like a gift 
to these characters to have their adventure in this kind of uh, scenery, you know? I love that. I love that. And what one of the one of the coolest parts about about it is that every single frame, if you were to just like take a little bit a piece of the frame, it could be a painting in some regards. There's that uh, that scene where they're going in in slow motion, and it's it's just it's beautiful. Everything sort of just looks like it uh, an idyllic uh, summer. And me, I'm from the West Coast originally, so <laughs> everything sort of looked like California to me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm so glad that you like it. I'm, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> this is all new for me. This is my first interview, you know, like for the film and also in English. So I'm, I'm very curious also to know how people react to, to the images and to the story. So it's very nice to me to, to hear I'm that you connect. You made it that. easy because I was going to ask you a question about the story. It must have been pretty simple to just be able to dictate a, a, a tale that you had gone through. And you know, trying to fit it into however long you were trying to make the movie. Were there any cuts that you had to make to the film that you were like, I really don't want to make this cut, but I have to because the film's kind of not uh, sagging because of it or something? Mm -hmm. Well, there were a lot of that. I have to tell you, I shoot a lot of things that don't need to cut, and and yes, but it wasn't hard to 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 take it off because and. Uh, I feel like there are like two very different processes when you're shooting and when you're editing and all takes like a whole other meaning to me when I was in the editing room and so it was easy to choose not to to put it in even though I love the shot or or something but yes there is a lot in fact like many many <laughs> situations that I cut off the, the films because it was distracting for the story and it doesn't uh, help to, to tell the story that I wanted. I love that. I'm going to ask you a couple questions about you yourself so people can get to know you since this is one of your mm -hmm. uh, first, you know, films that we're going to get at a major uh, festival here in the United States. Katia. Who are some people in the business of making movies that you look to and inspire or that inspire you to do what you like to do as a director, as a writer? Well, there are so many in, but um, I have to say that for this project, I was uh, always like uh, revisiting like some movies that I really love, like uh, Celine's Chama Girlhood and also, there is uh, this director, Karim, I don't know how to spell his name, Karim Anu. This is Brazilian director that he shot, that, that he make this movie, The Invisible Life, that is also about two sisters. And I'm like, he was a really big inspiration for this movie. Um. also, you know, there is like this series, um, my Brilliant Friend is an Italian series, TV series. And there were like two episodes that uh, was were directed by, uh, by a director that I love. There is Alice Rohrwacher. I don't know how to spell also her, her uh, last name. And, and yes, there, there were like very special influences in this film. Um, also, there is this photographer, cinematographer, Hélène Dubart, and, and she's like, for all that part that you say, that this colorful part, this like very atmospheric feel, and she was also a very uh, good reference and inspiration for the film. So yes, I don't know, I have like so many reference and inspirations all over the place i don't know how to it's really funny that you say that because so when i was funny. watching the movie i saw a lot of sean baker in there i don't know if you've seen the florida project oh, but like i saw a little bit of yes, that I in the it. film when i'm watching your yeah, movie that's I'm funny like, I, yeah i see mm -hmm. a little bit of that and i see a little bit of uh Koganata, uh his film columbus in your film as well oh, oh okay that i doesn't i doesn't know him but sean baker uh Yes, I know exactly where the film you're talking about, and also my the the actress the the younger one when when she 
I, I show her the, the film, this the last cut, and she told me the, the same thing. So I guess it is true. Because <laughs> Sean Baker has to be an influence for me also. I guess, I guess it's so. a colorful uh, or something. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah, yes, I think it I, might be. I, I, I think it might that. be the set. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it might be the saturation on the film, but it looks great. Um, mm. Second, really, really important question. Obviously, you make movies, so you probably love movies. Mm -hmm. If you if you could only watch two for the rest of your life, what two would you pick and why? Oh wow, I don't know. It's the hardest question of the day. Trust me. Yes, it's very hard. Well, I just like uh, when I watch uh, the worst person in the world. I I enjoy it so like very much. So I guess it's like one I can choose to watch it and rewatch it. And what else? And um, oh, I don't know. And ah. I tell you, it's a really hard question <laughs> every time I ask it. It's a really hard. <laughs> the worst person in the world and. Which one? Wait, no, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just uh, have a mental <laughs> block. <laughs> I cannot There's nothing choose. wrong that with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's hard to get that second film out because you're not prepared for it, and that's okay. <laughs> now, what was it like working with such a young cast, especially your two leads, and how did you go about casting them? Mm, well, uh, it's, it was very fun. I had like a blast with them. And we shot during the pandemic, so it was a very special time also. These kids were like totally, well, you know, like uh, um, enclosed in their houses. And then it came up this opportunity to shoot a film. So they were like so very generous and open and like excited to be there that it was contagious. You know, I, I, I just, I was like so moved by it. Uh, how happy they were to be there you know and also I did like a very long casting process a uh, virtual process so when I finally got to meet them in person it was very nice and and I was very sure that they were the right people for the film also I'm very open when I when I I'm more more interested in in people uh, and what they got to bring to the to the table you know so if I find some of them interested even though they don't look as I imagine or something I can rewrite to to make the the film work for them also so it was it was easy I, I it was nice for me and it's one of my favorite parts also to work with actors so um I have a blast they are awesome I love them they have like genuine love for them, all the all the cast. And it's funny because you can kind of tell that you do love working with these young ladies because on screen they just sort of click with the project that you're putting together. And I have to tell you, this is the first film we've checked out from the festival for so far. And if this is the caliber that we're gonna get this year, I'm very excited to see what else they have in store because you you killed it. You're you're out here doing it doing it right for Latin American filmmakers, and I appreciate that you did this. And that you're telling stories about Latin American people, because my, you know, my family's from Central America as well, uh, not Panama, obviously. Uh, where are you from? My well, my dad is from El Salvador. Family? El Salvador, oh, nice. Yes, very very different uh, yes. from Panama. Yes. <laughs> very it's different. Very looking. different. Uh -huh. Yes, um, but you know, still has nice water, beautiful beaches, all that stuff. You know, no skateboarders though, uh, surfers. They have a lot of surfers. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's the beach. Um, but it's, it, I really appreciate you yes, doing this for, you know, for Latino filmmakers, because I really feel like we don't have as many stories told about us. And why do you think that is? I don't know. There is also, well, first of all, because it is a very, it's very hard to make films, you know, everywhere. But in Central America, we depend a lot on on public funds and they are limited and so it's hard. I think there is a lot of talent, of course, there is a lot of stories to be told, but also uh, there is an expectation from outside to to hear like some, I feel like 
they want to hear like some kind of stories and maybe uh, we don't want to tell those stories <laughs> we want to tell our stories not what other people expect to hear you know so it's hard it's hard to to find founding just financing and and I guess that is what especially we don't have a lot of, of stories told from from our from Central America but there is a lot of talent there is a lot of stories and yes I wish we can do more I love that you guys hear that you guys hear mm -hmm. that we want to make more films and tell more stories from Central America because it's such an interesting part of the world that's been so turbulent throughout the history of man and mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot of tales to be told there and, and I agree with you this is just a small little tale about two girls but it speaks mm -hmm. more volumes about the fact that it got made than what it's about I think because I know mm -hmm. you had a difficult time making something like this as small as as it is it, 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 mm -hmm. it's a gigantic film for what it means you know what I mean yes and I, yes. I love that and I love that you were on the forefront of that so thank you for making this film and for making it as good quality as you did um our review oh thank you soon it's nice i can't can't wait to write about it uh is there anything that you want to lead the audience with before i let you go about your film and uh, no well i want to invite people to to watch it <laughs> i hope they like it and and yeah I'm I'm looking forward to enjoy all this experience of presenting the film in in South by Southwest and and yes I am very excited to share I was it just to gonna the, say to the public <laughs> I was just gonna say if you're in Austin for South by Southwest and you're attending the festival do go see this movie I believe it's March 11th or March 10th is the the debut is that correct um March 11th yeah that's if you guys are at South by Southwest and you want to check it out, you definitely should because it's going to be a film that you're surprised with on the 11th. Perfect. Thank you for that. Make sure you do it right now uh, because Katya Zuniga needs to make more movies because she's got more things to say and more tales to tell. Is that right, Katya? It's right. I have <laughs> much more to say. <laughs> exactly. She's got so much more she wants to say. Let's let her say it by telling her how much we appreciate and love the, her feature that she's made here, Las Sicas. Uh, for Film Snob Reviews, this has been William. Thank you so much, Katya, for everything. Well, gracias Thank por you, todos. William. We appreciate you. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, okay? Thank you. Gracias. Un abrazo. Sí, tengo buen día.